play to earn. Can you actually play video games, earn cryptocurrency with no investment, and potentially make a small fortune? Well, kind of. There's no guarantee though, this video is a little clickbaity with the thumbnail, but there are opportunities out there, there are a lot of incentives for people to play games, to join these communities, especially if you're early. So that's what we're getting into in this video. But before we begin, don't buy anything. This is not financial advice. I'm just some guy on the internet trying to figure things out and I'm sharing what I found with you. But uh, yeah, if you actually think this is financial advice, you messed up. Things you should know. Now, most legit games won't actually ever call themselves play to earn. And that's mostly due to legal reasons, especially if they haven't launched a token yet. So for now, maybe you're just earning points which may have no value or a lot of value later on when they're exchanged for a potential airdrop. So don't discount points at all. Most of the time, those points turn into an airdrop and that is play to earn. But the teams try to avoid these legal factors because they want to launch their coin in every market available, including the US. Now, the only reason I know this is because I've been talking to a crypto lawyer about launching a token. It might be around retail DAO, which is for retail users. But the thing is, you're not supposed to say that you are launching a token, you can provide points, and uh, that can be other opportunities. So to sum up, there is no token for retail DAO, but there might be some points. And if you want to learn more and become a better crypto investor for free, you might want to consider joining Retail DAO. It is still in its early stages, so there is an application process to join at these early stages. Later on, it's going to open up to everybody. And uh, yeah, if you do want to join, there is going to be a link in the description. The next thing you should know is that when a crypto game raises money, they're going to use some of those funds to attract users. That means anytime you see an announcement saying, hey, uh, we raised millions of dollars, you should be looking into that game. If you like that game and you see the community growing, that can turn into something very, very valuable. More great info on the way, but first, a word from our sponsor, Flare Network. Now, the main appeal of Flare Network is their data oracles because it works with most blockchains and it's free for developers to a certain extent if you are building on Flare Network. Now, that might not mean much right now, but if you think about it like this, they attract developers who are just getting started, who just want to try building different things without having to pay for everything up front. And that can attract new users that can help grow their ecosystem. So it might be something you should be watching and I will be making more great content on Flare Network. And if you want to just be a part of their ecosystem, they do have very high incentives for staking and delegating to their validators, as well as Flare Drops, which can get you APR around 40%. At least right now, if more people get into this, maybe a little less. So if you want to learn more about Flare Network, check out the links in the description. Now this is a thread by Apex Tweets. There's a lot of different content creators out there when it comes to crypto gaming, but he summed this up very nicely. Over $250 million was invested into crypto gaming in 2024 already, but crypto gaming as a narrative seems to be losing power. So who received all the money and what's their current status? And then he jumps into the disclaimers. But what's important is the money being raised and the games out there. Because if they haven't launched their incentive program yet, very likely they will, especially if they're at an early stage. So Parallel TCG, Parallel Trading Card Game, I haven't actually played it. They raised $35 million. Godzilla Games raised $30 million. The Sandbox Game raised $20 million, but they're actually like at a billion dollar market cap and they've been around for years. Uh, I would probably avoid that one. Elixir Games raised 14 million. Illuvium raised 12 million. But uh, Illuvium, you know, is very important to watch because their open beta testnet has all these different incentives. Earn your share of 20,000 Illuvium tokens. And at current prices, that's about $1.56 million in airdrop rewards for early users. So, uh, yeah, you definitely want to be playing Illuvium. And uh, if you like it, then it can turn into something even bigger because they haven't launched 
publicly as of yet. And uh, I know I am showing my referral links there, but I do have a uh, Illuvium referral link that might get you some additional incentives. Then we go on with Blade Wright, raised $12 billion. Meta Cine Game raised $10 million. Avalon raised $10 million. And there's much more that just hasn't been documented just because there's so many different projects to track. Now, this was just one thread, but I am tracking a lot of other things going on in the ecosystems. So we have to look at the Immutable ecosystem. And they're doing the main quest. Immutable ecosystem launches massive Web3 gaming rewards program. And the lineup includes Guild of Guardians, which I did a review of recently. And I highly recommend checking that out. Blast Royale, Space Nation, Metal Core, Born Lists, Hunters on Chain, Treeverse, Pullmasters, Pixelmon, and Alluvium. So there are millions of dollars in rewards for the games in the Immutable ecosystem. So you might want to check those out and find a game that you potentially like. And it could turn into something if you see that community growing, if they love that game as much as you do, or even more. Even more is much better. Then we have Psy. I think that's how you say it, or maybe we just say XAI. Psy reveals Vanguard, Genesis campaign with new Ethereum games and rewards. Psy, the Ethereum Layer 3 gaming network built on Arbitrum, plans to roll out several games in the coming months along with rewards for players. So you might want to be very early to this ecosystem, to all the games being announced, because there's going to be a lot of rewards. So if we look at xi.games, the, the official website, you can say that there are $100 million in game incentives. This goes to both developers and potentially players like you. Now that we briefly looked into Immutable and XAI, there's another one that is personally one of my favorite games out there, Pirate Nation, and that's built on the Proof of Play chain. And right now, the Pirate Nation is launching their Season 2 airdrop campaign where you do get these points and you do get the pirate token as a reward. But there is another thing that they are offering here, and that is Proof of Play points. So it looks like there is going to be an airdrop for their blockchain, Proof of Play. And to get involved with that, you have to be staking the pirate coin. So more on that later, and uh, I probably will do a full review of Pirate Nation on how you play, how you get started, how you earn things. And uh, that's just because it is a game I am playing, and I am going to show my referral link again in the description for these games anytime I have it. Now, that's because I, as a creator, also get rewards for that, just because I'm bringing players to the network, they're not necessarily sponsoring me, but you might actually like that game. And if you want to share your referral links too, I encourage that. Share all of them in the description, but don't share the actual link, maybe just the code, because YouTube comments filters out links. So uh, that's just to protect people from spam links and so they don't get scammed. All right. That was a lot of information. It feels very generic as I went over it, so I'm re-recording the ending because I need to summarize everything so you know what actions to take right now. So there are games that are incentivizing you to play right now, so that is Play to Earn, and that is on Immutable, and they have a large list of games like Illuvium and Guild of Guardians. There is XAI, which is still getting started, and there is Proof of Play, which has their popular game Pirate Nation. Now, all of these ecosystems will provide ways for you to earn cryptocurrency from playing their games. And yeah, that's how you play to earn. But the biggest opportunities are with games that haven't launched a token yet. So you want to look at those opportunities by looking at projects that don't have a token, that have raised money, that has a strong community, and has a game that you really enjoy. By looking at the games that are building, by participating early, you can be rewarded for it very well. For example, some of the people in the Pirate Nation community that was there for the last two years, the Founder Pirate NFTs were free for these original users, and now they're worth around one ETH each. And that came along with other incentives from airdrops from other communities, from other tokens, and for the Pirate token. So some of those OGs made six figures 
from playing that game. And I kind of regret not playing that enough and making content because I would have done much better just playing Pirate Nation. Now, there's no guarantee that every game is going to have that same level of success, but you can follow the same steps that I mentioned earlier. You look for a game that you like, that raised money, that has a strong community, and that you will likely play very, very often and recommend it to other people. So that is what you should be looking for. And those are the opportunities that you can find in GameFi. I know this is very brief, but uh, if we dive into every game, it's going to be very difficult. And I think I'll save that for another video on my top five GameFi games that I'm playing. But uh, yeah, if this video was helpful, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments if there is any game that you would recommend playing or if there is a referral link that you'd like to share. Again, no actual link, but the code is ideal just to avoid spam and to protect other users from the comments. All right, with that, I hope you got your full value for today.